Okay, so I thought that I would give you guys a little bit of an update on Jacob. Um, school for him ended May 22nd, so he's been out for about five days as of the day that I am filming this. Um, he tried to pull a fast one on us the week before he was done with school because we had him, we got him on a Wednesday. Normally we pick him up on Friday nights, but um, his mom and grandma had something to do. So he ended up having to bring his school computer because he does homeschooling through the K-12 virtual school platform. And so he tried to pull a fast one on us and said that he had done his work and gone to his classes and really he had messaged his teachers and said that there was no wi-fi so he couldn't get on the live sessions for his classes so he was sneaky about it but um <laughs> he did finish all of his stuff he passed his final exams so he will no longer be a freshman or i should say he is no longer a freshman he will be a sophomore starting when he goes back to school in august so super proud of him for that. Um, one thing that I think is really cool about the um, school that he goes to is they have what's called career tracks. And he was kind of explaining to me a little bit what it is. Basically, you get to choose like a career path that you're interested in. And they kind of tailor the classes that you take to whatever career track you're interested in. And he told me um, I'm not sure if this is actually what career track he chose, but he told me that he chose um, a veterinary medicine track or a veterinary track, something like that. So if that is true, sometimes um, I'm not calling him a liar, but um, sometimes he does embellish the truth. So I don't know if that's actually a fact. We'll just, we'll say that. Um, but I think it's really cool that he's able to take classes like that that are based on a career or a possible career path that he may want to go into when he is done with school because it kind of helps you get the knowledge that you need to go into that track. Um, I wish they had something like that when I was in high school because that would have been really cool. He, for the summer, he's going to be with us for two weeks on and then two weeks off. So basically he's gonna be with us for two weeks and then he's gonna be with um, the other parents for two weeks. So that'll be nice. We'll get to spend quite a bit more time with him this summer. Obviously it's gonna be a little different because we are no longer in the apartment. Obviously, if you've been following my videos, we're no longer in the apartment, haven't been since the end of April. And, um, I don't know, it's just gonna be interesting to see what kind of things we're able to do this summer. I know things are gonna be different from last summer just because coronavirus, but um, like all of the 4th of July stuff, fireworks, parades, the county fair um, in our area is canceled already and it's not even June yet. So all of that kind of stuff is already canceled. So we'll just have to wait and see what kind of things we're able to do for fun. We've still been going to the park and stuff like that. Um, I feel like the more time he and I spend together, the better his behaviors are when he's with me. Um, I think it's just kind of getting used to um, spending more time with me and um, kind of how I like to do things with him. Um, I definitely want to make sure that we do some fun things this summer because I always like I do enjoy having our family game nights and stuff like that like we play Slapsy, we play Sorry, we play Yahtzee, we play Uno and lately uh, we've found like we found Sorry and Yahtzee at Goodwill so if you've never thought to go look at your thrift store for um, like board games and stuff like that definitely go check them out that I mean I think for sorry, we paid like, it was less than a dollar for sorry. And then we did get Clue, but the instructions that came with it were very odd. Like it wasn't like the Clue game is supposed to be. So we stopped playing that because like, I don't know, it was just really, it was really odd compared to 
like the rules of Clue that I remember when I was a kid. So we always have fun playing board games and stuff like that. We like going to the park and hiking and walking around and just enjoying the sunshine and some fresh air. And um, my husband might actually be able to get Jacob a job um, working with him. So then my husband and Jacob would work on the same days. So that would be good for him um, to kind of teach him a little bit of uh, responsibility and how things would work if he was to get a job like once he's out of high school but we have to talk that over with the other parents obviously if it's going to be two weeks on two weeks off that's not really going to work necessarily for his job um so we'll have to talk to them about that but he's doing good um for the most part he is I mean he's 16 years old he's maturing a little bit <laughs> um if you have a 16 year old or a teenager then you kind of know what that's like but I just wanted to give you guys an update because I haven't really um I haven't really given you guys much of an update on him lately because he was finishing school and doing final exams and things like that so it's nice for me to be able to give you guys that update so anyways um and for those of you who don't know Jacob is my stepson I love him like he's my own um, I treat him like he's my own and he is on the autism spectrum so certain things are difficult for him and certain interactions with people are difficult for him to understand so that might clarify certain things that I've said but anyways if you guys would like me to talk more about any specific topics let me know and I will do my best to get them filmed for you and I will talk to you guys again tomorrow